Tonight, Arizona once again has two U.S. Senators as Vice President Mike Pence swears in John Kyle to fill John McCain's spot on Capitol Hill. It's our big story on 12 News at 6. So with the former senators return to Washington, what power does he have and how long will he stay there? 12 News political reporter Michael Doughton is verifying that for us tonight. He's live from the Alert Center. Michael. Mark, John Kyle is the safe choice, a three term senator with experience and a reputation. But after six years away, in some respects, he's starting from ground zero. So help you God. I will. Congratulations, Senator. Just like that, John Kyle was back, but his stay in the Senate may not be a long one. I'm willing to serve certainly through the end of this session, which would be at the end of this year. So what power would the former three term senator turned newest chamber member actually have? First question, will Kyle keep McCain's spots on committees, including his role as the chairman of the powerful Armed Service Committee? The answer there is no. In fact, despite Kyle's previous experience, he'll play basically the role of a freshman junior senator where pretty much all of his power comes from his vote. But it is my uh, honor to be helping on the Kavanaugh nomination. And his vote will be very important. Any potential confirmation of Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. So what happens at the end of this session? While Kyle could stay in office until 2020, all indications are that he will step down later this year. If he leaves office, it will be up to Governor Ducey to make another choice, potentially a Martha McSally if she loses in November, another placeholder, maybe even himself, though he says he won't do that. What we can verify is that although someone is now sworn in, the future of McCain's seat is still very much in doubt. Whether it's Kyle or someone else, who will actually hold the seat? Whoever actually holds the seat past this year, well, we'll actually hold it only until 2020 when we will see a special election. We're live in the Alert Center. Michael Doudna, 12 News.